Hi, I'm Sabrina from Huawei Developers and welcome to Huawei Tutorial Series. What is the Side Kit? The Side SDK provides place search services that allow your users to use location-based services more conveniently, helping you quickly acquire users. SideKit provides the six main functions for you to quickly build apps with which your users can explore the world around them. Main functions. You can integrate the following main capabilities in SideKit to quickly build apps with which your users can explore the world around them. 1. Keyword search feature helps us to return a place list based on keywords entered by the users. 2. Nearby place search feature is a search for nearby places based on the current location of the user's device. 3. Place details search feature searches for details about a place. 4. Search suggestion feature returns a list of place suggestions. 5. Widget feature is a search component of the built-in place search suggestion feature. 6. Autocomplete feature returns an autocomplete place and a list of suggested places. App Gallery Connect Console Before we start developing an app, configure app information in App Gallery Connect, and for this we should follow these steps. 1. You should register as a developer. 2. Create a project. 3. Create an app and add your package name. 4. Generate and configure a signing certificate fingerprint. 5. Enable SideKit service. Enabling SideKit service. We will follow these steps. 1. Sign into App Gallery Connect and click My Projects. 2. Click your project card and select the app. 3. Click the Manage APIs tab. 4. Toggle on the switch for the SideKit service to be enabled. SideKit uses the pay-as-you-go mode for settlement. From January 1, 2021, SideKit will offer pay-as-you-go plans for some of its APIs. To upgrade the pay-as-you-go plan for your project, sign into App Gallery Connect, click My Projects, click Your Project, and go to Project Settings, Project Plan. Integrating the HMS Core SDK. If you are using Android Studio, you can integrate the Huawei Mobile Services Core SDK via the Maven repository. Before you start developing an app, integrate the Huawei Mobile Services Core SDK into your Android Studio project. For integration, first we should add the App Gallery Connect configuration file to your app. You can download this file from AGC Connect Console, go to Project Settings, General Information. In the App Information area, download the AG Connect Services JSON file. We need to add AG Connect Services JSON file, which we have downloaded, to under App folder of Android Studio of our project as follows. After performing this process, we need to add Maven libraries and dependencies on our build Gradle. Before building an APK, configure the obfuscation configuration file to prevent the Huawei Mobile Services Core SDK from being obfuscated. We need to add this permission to manifest file for using all our features. Setting the API key. Declare a search service object and call a search service factory in the onCreate method to instantiate the object. To create a search service instance, you need to pass the context parameter and the API key. It is recommended that the context parameter be of the activity type. Otherwise, no update wizard will be displayed when the Huawei Mobile Services Core APK needs to be updated. The API key is generated together with the AG Connect Services JSON file when you create an app in the App Gallery Connect. You need to call the URL encoder.encode your API key UTF-8 method to encode the API key using encode URI. Create listener. We will create a search result listener object to listen to the results. All features need a listener object where we can receive the result depending on the function called. This listener class has two methods, one for the success case and another one for the failure case. On search result is a generic method taking type T parameter, which means all SiteKit feature result type can be different. Keyword search. With this feature, users can specify keywords, coordinate bounds, and other information to search for places such as tourist attractions, enterprises, and schools. To use this feature, create a text search request object, which is used as the request body for keyword search. Query, which means search keyword parameter is mandatory and others are optional. We set a location, 
its longitude and latitude, to which search results need to be biased. Radius. Search radius in meters. The value ranges from 1 to 50,000. The default value is 50,000. Point of interest type of return places. The value range is the same as that of location type. Huawei POI type is recommended. Huawei point of interest type of return places. This parameter is recommended. The value range is a subset of Huawei location type. Page size. Number of records on each page. The value ranges from 1 to 20, and the default value is 20. Page index. Current page number. The value ranges from 1 to 60. The default value is 1. Children. Indicates whether to return child nodes. The default value is false, indicating the child nodes are not returned. If this parameter is set to true, full information about child nodes, if any, will be returned. Countries. Multiple country or region codes. Up to five codes are allowed. This parameter is used to return search results in the specified countries or regions in priority, but not filter out all search results that are not in these countries or regions. We use the created search service object to call the text search API and pass created text search request and search result listener objects to the API. Obtain the text search response object using the created search result listener object. You can obtain a site object from this text search response object and then parse it to obtain specific search results. With this feature, your app can return a list of places around the current location of a user. When the user selects a place, your app obtains the place ID and searches for details about the place. We create a nearby search object, which is used as the request body for nearby place search. We fill the parameters. We use the created search service object to call the nearby search API and pass the created nearby search request and search result listener objects to the API. Obtain the nearby search response object using the created search result listener object. You can obtain a site object from the nearby search response object and then parse it to obtain specific search results. With this feature, you can search for details about a place, such as the name, detailed address, and longitude latitude coordinates of the place, based on the unique ID or site ID of the place. Site ID means ID of a place. Call a detail search request object, which is used as the request body for place detail search. We use the created search service object to call the detail search API and pass the created detail search request and search result listener objects to the API. We obtain the detail search response object using the created search result listener object. You can obtain a site object from the detail search response object and parse it to obtain the search results. Methods for obtaining the address information are as follows. With this feature, your app can display suggested places during user input. We create a query suggested request object, which is used as a request body for search suggestions. We use the created search service object to call the query suggestion API and pass the created query suggestion request and search result listener objects to the API. We obtain the query suggestion response object using the created search result listener object. You can obtain a site object from the query suggestion response object and then parse it to obtain specific search results. The widget is a search component of the built-in place search suggestion feature. When a user enters a keyword in the search box, the widget displays a list of suggested places to the user. If the user taps a place in the list, your app will receive a site object and use it to obtain details about this place. We add search fragment to activity by adding a fragment element to the XML layout file of activity. We add a listener for search fragment. To do so, bind search fragment to activity and add site selection listener for listening the list of suggested places. If a user taps on a place in the list, your app will receive the site object of this place. With this feature, your app can return an autocomplete place and list of suggested places. We create a query autocomplete request object, which is the autocomplete request body. We use the created search service object to call the query autocomplete API and pass the created query autocomplete request and search result listener objects to the API. We obtain the query autocomplete response object using the created search result listener object. You can obtain the autocomplete place with a list of suggested places from the query autocomplete response object based on the entered keyword. Thank you for watching. 
For more detailed information, you can visit developer.huawei.com.